Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with the friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link down in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. You can follow us on Facebook, Fanny and Jesse, Instagram, Fanny and Jesse, and if you want to suggest via those uh, social media, feel free, and we'll be more than glad to do it. Just be patient with us. We'll get to your request. Uh, a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. We appreciate each one of you guys uh, very much. And thank you for 18,000 plus subscribers. You guys are the best. I hope you, you're doing right. I may say blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to Allah Exposes the Hypocrites of the World 2021. Um, there's so many things going on in the world that that when you think about if you're exposed to knowledge out there you say this is hypocritical but if you're not exposed you still stay in the dark get ready to just go with whatever was shown through TV magazines newspapers or whatever medium uh, news is spread otherwise this last year or something else this year something else and it's pretty sad but otherwise so this is what i keep on saying otherwise but this is what i'm reacting to so without wasting time let's get into the video dear muslims when such tragedies come down one of the most bizarre perks that come. This is really strange, but bear with me. We learn who are the hypocrites and traitors from within our own ummah. We learn those who are willing to sell themselves for a measly price. The munafiqoon who have no shame for the sake of their kursis and power, for the sake of their oil-rich companies and their kingdoms, they're willing to form alliances with the worst of the worst. They form alliances with the devil and they're willing to side against Allah and His Messenger and the people of Iman and Taqwa. And we thank Allah. لِيَمِيزَ اللَّهُ الْخَبِيثَ مِنَ الطَّيِّبِ These are khubatha, khawana. They're traitors. And we say this openly and publicly. Anybody who sides with an apartheid regime at this point in time against our Palestinian brothers and sisters against the people of the kalima against the people of ikhlas wallahi how can we have not have any shame and boycott from those muslims how can we not cut off ties these aren't actual believers in allah and his messenger this is where wala and bara comes into place so we thank allah that he is allowing us to see as our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said shayateen they are shayateen but not jinn of the ins they speak your language they look like you but they are shayateen. The hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Du'atun ala abwadi jahannam. They are calling people to jahannam. And we have people like this in our midst. Once this is all over, we cannot have anything to do. These are not going to help us. The people that for the sake of money and for the sake of their kursis and their thrones, they're willing to do what they do. You expect help from these people? It's not going to happen. So Allah has demonstrated Allah has shown us, and this is in the Quran. Allah wants to separate the khabith from the tayyib. So we're seeing this from this as well. Subhanallah. The tayyib, the pure. And alhamdulillah, we see what is happening. The people of Asham. And what will make you understand the blessings of the people of Asham? So many ahadith. Sham, by the way, includes Palestine. When the Prophet prays Sham, don't think only Syria. Sham is that entire region which includes Palestine and includes you know, ports, portions of Syria. Actually, the primary emphasis is in fact uh, Baytul Maqdis because the hadith actually says that Baytul Maqdis wa aknafi Baytul Maqdis. The righteous are going to be in Baytul Maqdis and surrounding Baytul Maqdis. So the point, dear brothers and sisters, is that yes, wallahi, I, my heart is with you as well, that you do become overwhelmed and the images really hurt. They really do. And the toxic you know, conversations and tweets from our politicians and from others as well, from our own midst. Wallahi, it hurts. And you just wonder, ila mata, for how long? 
But Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran that the believers of the past were tested and they were shaken to the core and the prophets of old and the people of Iman of old they themselves question when will the help of Allah come and our Iman keeps on reminding us we just have to keep on saying and believing because this is not our goal to see Izzah in this world. If we see it, Alhamdulillah, but our goal is the pleasure of Allah. And Allah is not going to ask us, did you solve the entire crises? But Allah will ask us, what did you do? What did you do? Something has to be done. And all of us do something. And as long as we do something, and as long as we try, and I'm not saying that, you know, Audhu Billah, please don't misunderstand that I'm being a pacifist or whatnot. On the contrary, much has to be done. And some of it cannot just be diplomacy and whatnot. But I'm not the one to do that. And other du'at or not, we need communal help. We need people to come together. We need other institutes far bigger than individuals to begin some processes. And when that happens, inshallah, we hope the ulama and the du'at will be at the forefront calling for the best and frankly the only solution but until that happens until that happens I'm not advocating pacifism but there's activism that is of many other ways activism of the tongue activism of the heart activism of the pen activism of social media things have to be done and the tide is going to shift slowly but surely we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be instruments that he uses to bring about khair and barakah we ask Allah azza wa to forgive us for our incapability to do more than what we are doing we ask Allah to not test us with more than we can bear and burden. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal for His afiyah. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to help us and to, to not help against us. And we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for the best of this world and the best of the best of the next world. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There are so many tragedies that we people face in life um and certain things don't even make sense for example we've been told that democracy is what we countries need uh democracies is um changing presidents every five years every other two years and yet some of these countries have a system where it's always been the family that's been running for years and years and there's no complaint. When other countries do it, then it's some sort of dictatorship. It's some sort of something that's not agreed upon, but it's fine for them. Uh, we say democracy, and yet we are, were made to think that these presidents that are president were chosen by us, and yet, in fact, they were chosen by people that don't even have citizenship in our country. I mean, but that's complicated. That chosen by uh, higher powers than you may think which is very very sad that's why when you find you're going through something your country is going through something they actually forget you the citizens of that country and go with what the, the, the other people with the so-called power want if they say okay everyone should take these um this um what can i say i don't even want to use the covid thing if if they say that okay this shouldn't be happening those presidents or those people in power or those people with authority actually follow those things without questioning it questioning it forgetting that citizens under them look up to them um i think what our biggest problem you don't want to work with people that can actually help you out make decisions of your own you want to work with others that you saw them have power over you it's just it's just an insane world i mean this is a conversation that's not for these reaction videos but there's so much things that goes on that people are not happy with if you're going to be in power or have power at least look after your people first put your people first this is why like i said it's a, it's a topic for another day let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe but just think about it why i think democracy is a scam we can do better we can uh choose leaders that can lead us leaders that have a vision leaders that can see us through so many things it's really really up to us
I think we the people as well have some power to some extent but sometimes we find that we're weak we can't do anything but if if we the citizens are weak people in authority should be able to do something I mean that's why they're in authority authoritative um, positions let me know what you think and I'll see you in my next reaction video